I'm going to show you how you can quickly deploy a Super Tokens instance with Caprover. So we will get right into it. Um, so I'm going to be using DigitalOcean. Uh, you can use whichever platform you want. I will leave my DigitalOcean and Vulture affiliate links below in the description. So if you do choose either Vulture or DigitalOcean, um, please consider using my referral links. Um, the reason I'm using DigitalOcean is because they have a Caprover um, one-click app, uh, which makes it super easy to deploy. Um, I'm just going to go with basic, $10 a month. You can choose whichever VPS you need according to your scaling needs. Um, mine's going to be in New York, and I'm going to use SSH keys to uh, interact with the server. And your host name, you can call it whatever you want. Um, I'll call it Super Tokens. Um, there we go. So I'm going to create the droplet. And I'm also going to point a domain name at the instance. So I'll be back in a second once I've done that. So I just set up my domain pointing to uh, my droplet. And now I'm going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to follow the Caprover documentation. And the first thing we need to do is run npm install global Caprover. And I've already done this, so it should be pretty quick. And next we're going to run Caprover server setup. And okay. We already started Caprover container in your server. Yes. What's the IP address of my server? Uh, that I'll get over here. And I can copy it. Uh, the root domain is auth.gitforks.com. By the way, if you're curious, check out gitforks.com. It's a GitHub tool that I created to compare forks of repo. Um, my password, I can call it whatever I want. And I'll make up an email. So this is enabling SSL so we can have the, uh, the protection up here uh, whenever we create a server on our Capra Oversight for the HTTPS. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too much longer. And sure, we'll call it Captain2. And we will check out our new Capra Over instance. This is our new instance. I'll enter my password. And here we are. And I am in my Caprover dashboard. And we have our available one click apps here. And what I'm going to do right now is add a third party repository. It's actually my own repository. Uh, that I have custom one-click apps on. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, this GitHub repo, which I will leave the link to in the description, just for capic or slash capic caprover apps. Um, and what you do is you take this URL down here and you scroll all the way down to the bottom and add this third-party one-click app repository. Um, later on, uh, I submitted a pull request to the official re repository, so this shouldn't be necessary. Um, but once you've done that, you can uh, go back to your one-click apps, and you'll see now that I have three available right here that weren't here before. Um, I, I'm not sure if I would trust these right now. Um, AppRite may or may not have some bugs in it, and Superbase is a work in progress, but Super Tokens should be good. Um, so if it's not in the official repo, you can just add my repo, and then you'll click here. Um, we'll call it ST for Super Tokens. Um, Postgres username will do PG, PG, and super tokens, oh, SD for super tokens. Okay. And my face is covering it, but I'm going to click deploy in the bottom right. And this should get everything going. And then just like that, we should have a super tokens instance that we are free to use with uh, Create React App. I'm not going to show a demonstration of how to use Create React App with super tokens. Uh, their documentation is fairly good about that. Um, but I did want to show the deployment process because I, I think Caprover makes it easy and I already made the one-click app for it and I wanted to just advertise uh, that it's out there. 
Um, I'll also leave a note in the description once my pull request is accepted, assuming it is eventually accepted, uh, so you know if, whether or not you have to add my third-party app repository or not. So it's finishing up here. Uh, so I'm going to click Finish down here, and now you can see we have Super Tokens and the database. If we go to Super Tokens, I'm going to enable HTTPS, and then once this is done, I'll go to the URL, and you'll see we get not found. Now this is different than the regular CapRover uh, page, which you'll see if I just do a random subdomain. Um, you'll see we don't really get anything, and if we take away, or if we just power through, I, I don't know how to do that. Okay. Um, anyways, you can see that this is different than a different CapRover subdomain, and this is actually the API. Uh, there's just not a, a route at, at the home page at, at slash. So it's just a 404 not found error. Um, so what you can do is you can just point this as your um, Super Tokens core instance uh, in your API for Create React App with Express, and you can use that for uh, authentication. And you own all of the data. Uh, you own the Postgres instance as your uh, as your CapRover app right here, STDB, and um, I'm going to make a video in the future about how to provision backups and whatnot, but for now, um, I'm just going to leave it at that. If you have any questions, uh, let me know down in the description. Uh, hopefully this is useful to you, and uh, yeah, like I said, any questions, leave them in the description. If you have any suggestions, also leave those in the description. I will be keeping an eye on the comments, and yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Um, thank you for watching.